All right, there's nothing like Brie and Bicky's, a toasted three cheese sandwich, a hot dog with grated cheese, mac and cheese, a double cheese quarter pound. I mean, Mon, there is a cheese for every occasion. And while it can be packed with essential nutrients, <laughs> not all variations are created equal, apparently. Here to break the cheese, <laughs> so to speak, our clinical nutritionist, Sarah DiLorenzo. Morning, morning to you. Morning. Okay, so the cheese, is, is it good for us? Is, is it bad for us? Okay, cheese is a wonderful source of protein and calcium, and we need that for our bones. We also need it for our gut health. But in saying all that, some cheeses are healthier than others. <laughs> Most of us have so, at some point, I think, grabbed, uh, you know, a bag of shredded cheese, yes. you know, and, and the, done the unthinkable just to try and save time. Uh, what's your advice on, best, uh, advice on best and worst? Okay, so these are my wor this is on my worst list. So shredded cheese is basically a combination of cheese, but it's also got cellulose in it that comes from tree bark. So oh. as well, so it's a, it's a hybrid, so it's not a true cheese. But another tree cheese that's not a true cheese is the vegan cheese, the mainstream mass-produced ones that you see in the supermarket they've just they've got next to they're void of nutritional value altogether pretty much and as for the party cheeses and the fun cheeses that everyone loves the mascarpone the breeze and the camemberts we love all those because they're really high in fat but they're they're party cheeses for a reason these cheeses just smell so good don't they <laughs> talk us through the ones that we can have okay so first of all these these are my ones that you would have every other day or if you did have them you'd have about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half so first of all feta although it's high in sodium it's low in calories as goat's cheese, or as we like to call it, ghost, ghost cheese. cheese. Yep. <laughs> God, that's also, uh, that's got a little bit of fat in it, but it also can be high in sodium as well. But as far as cheeses, like the blue cheese, the the parmesan cheese and the cheddar, they're also all high, in palm, all, all high in sodium, but they're also wonderful sources of calcium too. So you need to be mindful that there is calcium, which is good for our bone health, but you just have to keep that balance with those okay. ones. What's on the guilt-free list? These are my top picks. And guilt-free cheeses are ones that are low in sodium, they're low in calories, they're low in fat, but they're high in calcium and they're also high in protein. So it's got mozzarella and a Swiss cheese as well as ricotta. And cottage cheese would have to be one of the best cheeses, completely guilt-free. Guilt -free. It's got vitamin K in it. It's super high in protein and it's a Weight Watchers best friend oh almost. Oh, my gosh, we yes. can't wait for this. <laughs> no, tre no tree bar. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted to translate my favourite and top cheeses into some different recipes. So I've made... Boccaccini with strawberry salad, which Yum, is look at that. so that's a blend of that. And also, I've made a cottage cheese mousse, and then I've made out of cottage ricotta, cheese mousse. Cottage cheese mousse, yes. And I've done with ricotta. I've just put together some ricotta, thrown some herbs in it. I've just made a ricotta dip. So they're just some great ways that you can actually bring cheeses into your, <laughs> <laughs> cheeses okay, into your. Uh, here we go. This is a cottage cheese mat. Cottage mat. cheese You're mousse. The... This is always my favourite part is... of your segment. Yeah, Sarah. eating. Eating. Oh my gosh. I do it very well. So, that... so, so oh you're gosh. a chocolate person. Oh How do you give me an out so of ten good. for a cottage yeah. cheese mousse? That is substantial. It's four ingredients. It's really it's good. It's a sensory Literally four ingredients. explosion. It is yum. We're going to put the recipe as Thank we you. always do um, onto our website. The podiums look beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you, Sarah. Are you going to share or just? There's not a lot of sharing happening here. They are edible flowers. Thank you very much, Sarah.